Ta-da! Mm. See you. You give up smoking, you're up with the larks, showered and shaved, and out buying cinnamon danish for your non-smoking pastry-obsessed boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Nice product. You know, I've gained almost four kilos since I packed up. Be nice. Morning, Mrs. P. You're out about early. I checked the ironing pile last night and I said to myself, Thelma, those boys are going to look the wrong side of shabby chic if you don't pull your finger out. I thought they'll get drummed out of that club. Mm -mm. Now you know you don't have to. Don't have to? What would I do with myself if I didn't have you two to look after? There's a new laundry service open around the corner. We ought to be supporting other local enterprises. You could be that cruel to your own mother. What did I just say? What would I do? Something a tad more challenging than the odd hot wash. Are you rude to your mother? Well, no, I'm not. But... Perhaps if it's going to make you so snappy and spiteful, you ought to stop this quitting business and have yourself a nice little puff. Well, he's already got one. <laughs> oh, don't listen to him anyway. You're a star. We don't know what we'd do without you. Do we, Has? Is that gun working OK? Making me a bit hyper. But it's fine. Worth it. What wouldn't you give to be in Albuquerque, buying Navajo bracelets and beads right now, wearing a crumpled shirt? Now you should be nicer to your mother. She's fine. She knows I get tetchy under pressure. Three and a half weeks, that's pressure. Only five days. Only 120 hours, and we've both been tobacco-free for a month. Tel Aviv, here we come. Hmm. Now, what's that they say about counting chickens, hmm? I know, I know. But just think. We finally kick the habit together, once and for all, and reward ourselves our cherished prize. Mm, we deserve it. Israel. I can't wait. All I can think about is getting off this great glittering hamster wheel that we call making a living. Hey, this isn't schlock. This is quality. And you know you love it. Weeks of freedom from being walked in on, picked up after and fussed around. Bliss. <sighs> I'm too humble to be told to eat my greens. Only me. Oh, you miss her when she's gone. Huh? Where's my mother gonna go? This one's better. It's cheaper, but better on you. Okay. <laughs> Is that nicotine replacement gum? Sorry. Vile but necessary. Ah, what does it matter? As long as you quit the fags. Mm. Irish done so well. He's been my inspiration. I can't let him down again. How many times have you tried to give up? 43. <gasps> but this time. When we both quit for a full month, we're rewarding ourselves big time. Leaving your coffee here, Has. Oh, hi, Thelma. Caffeine might not be such a good idea if your nerves are jangling. Jangling? I haven't got an untreaded nerve left in my body. <laughs> <laughs> not after all the oh, patches, inhalers, tabs, hypnotherapy, aversion therapy, <laughs> drugs and acupuncture. <laughs> the only thing that's ever worked for me has been your nurse Corrigan, the queen of quitters. And she goes and cancels her clinic and leaves me in the duty, chewing like a loon. What? Michelle's cancelled a clinic? Yeah. She called yesterday and left a message. Thank you. Parallel to the beach, Tel Aviv is the Rio of the Eastern Men. Tell me more. Well, we'll eat fish at Manta Ray. Well, then, of course, we have to do the beach party thing. A month. Then after that, we'll see. Sounds perfect. To be alone to soak up sun and culture and glorious, glorious downtime. It'll be like it's free with all the money we've saved not buying cigarettes. Mm. I can't wait. I really cannot <laughs> wait to get away. Can you believe it? They're selling strawberries in January in England, complete machetes. Mother, what part of your Worcestershire heritage has fostered the use of Yiddish? So I like language, so shoot me. He doesn't mean it, Mrs. Siggies. Yeah? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm gasping. And you spoil us. And uh, do I smell uh... Casserole. What's not to spoil? My boys. Mm, smells delicious. Good and hearty. None of your drizzling juice. Listen, Mum, we were talking about that Art Deco hotel in Mokko. We thought maybe you and Betty would like to go for a weekend break. Our treat. What is it with you? Why are you always trying to get rid of me, sending me away? What's wrong with me? You're the one who's found something to be miffed about, the thought of a four-star hotel by the sea. You just want me gone. Here we go. It's always the same. It's all storm and drang with you, isn't it, Mother? Don't get smart with me. But you love language. Dr Woodson, how nice to see you again. I must just go and season my... Nothing wrong with your necklace, is there? No, not at all. I, I came in to see Thelma. Thelma, have you got somewhere we could just have a quick private chat? 
What's wrong with her? Mum? There's nothing wrong with me. This is just the nannying, interfering NHS is all. I can't speak just now. I'm extremely busy. Tell me, I need to talk to you. Tough. We can do it here. You can't talk about me in front of the boys. I'm your patient. And you've got to keep your big gob shut about anything I've spoken about. Jewel in the Crown. Harry Leibovitz speaking. How can I help you? Thanks for calling, Michelle. See you later. Mum, why did you lie to me about Nurse Corrigan? You said she cancelled the clinic. She didn't. She did. She got it wrong. She's confused. Don't you want me to stop smoking? It's always about you, isn't it? I have to stop. I desperately want to be a non-smoker. You only want to be a non-smoker so you can afford to pack up and bog off round the world. Holiday, my tush. Go on then, big mouth. Tell them. Tell them I had to have pills to stop me going do lally. Tell them that, why don't you? Thelma, I'm not here to... One prescription. That was all last year. I mean, you have a minor mental health issue and the next thing you know, you've got your doctor coming round calling you a liar. Look, I would never discuss anything you and I are talked about as a doctor patient. You know me better than that, Thelma Porter. Then shut it then, if you don't want me to get depressed. And you don't want me to get depressed again, do you? Depressed? I want to understand what this not, not smoking malarkey is all about. The misinformation, the misunderstanding. I've been smoking. Dr Woodson caught me outside this morning. She caught me having a fag. You're smoking again? You've been depressed? Winnie lights, little charcoal filters. My all-time favourites. Where did you get Wisconsin Lights from? Betty. You didn't. Lying about the clinics for one thing, but Wisconsin Lights, how could you? I couldn't help it. I've been miserable. I mean, Christmas is the bleakest time of the year for us older singles. Garbage. Do you want to tell us what's really going on, Mum? Happy now. Do you know? Well, I can guess. Mum? No, let's let Doctor know it all. Tell us what she thinks. She knows everything. You don't want them to reach their target because my guess is you think the non-smoking boys will leave you. They won't! Oh, shows what you know. They've got plans. Soon as they quit smoking. Israel first, then America and Canada. I mean, what about me? What? <laughs> then you will need them to need you. That's natural. I just want to see Israel. It'll be a month to start with, then you'll find somewhere else you have to see. I mean, why would you come back here? A month, Mother, that's all. Harry wants to show me the places he loves. Why wouldn't he? Whatever your reasons are, Selma, encouraging somebody to smoke is utterly irresponsible. Listen, Ma, we haven't had a holiday since we started this business. We're exhausted, but we love our lives and we love you. Why were they whispering there and saving fag money for a getaway? Why were you eavesdropping? Ma, we don't need to save fag money to go anywhere. In case you hadn't noticed, we're rather successful. We enjoy a dedicated and proselytising clientele. You do. We're exactly at the right level of indulgence for the current economic climate. Crunch schmunch. A month, no longer. What am I supposed to do? Wish you're off having parties on the beach and flitting round Tel Aviv. How about we forget Morecambe? What if you and Betty go transatlantic? How do you fancy some early Florida sunshine? Our treat. Betty's just come back from Florida. Now Vegas? I mean, we could synchronise our trips. We could. But because I couldn't go fly my kite and leave you without someone to cook, someone to iron, and push the vacuum around. No, you couldn't. We need you, Mum. Maybe you should pop into the mill before you go, get the once over. What, me? You should worry about me. I'm fine. That's brilliant. I've got some incredible photos of tumours to show you. Oh, day one again, Dr Woodson. Oh, I know, but you can do it. Team Corrigan will be smoke-free. Too true. This way, gentlemen. 